Howdy. Come on over here and be friendly. That's more like it. Welcome to Mom Pa's. I take it you're Pa? That's me. That's what everybody in a hundred miles knows me as. Pa. But I'll tell you something most of them don't know. That it's not your real name? Well, ain't you, Miss Smarty Boots. Little Miss Gal from up north who's helping out tornado chases from the Canute. How'd you know that? <laughs> Not bad for an old codger, huh? Why, I know all sorts of stuff about you. I even know your cell phone number, Miss Nancy Drew. Let's see, it's 523-555-4399. How'd you like them apples? Someone on the Canute team told you I was coming, didn't they? Yeah, that they did. Debbie, she told me to keep an eye out for you and gave me your number. See, if something bad happens while you're all out there chasing twisters, it's important to have a way to get help. Staying connected in an emergency is just about the best way to stay safe. I'm kind of your emergency action central. Keep your numbers right here by the phone. Debbie, fill you in the way things work around here yet? Don't things work the way they normally do in stores? Not for y'all. You can folk got a lot of credit here, so instead of paying cash for food and equipment and such, you can charge it. You want to buy something that's not on Debbie's list, like something from the snack section, you got to pay for it using pa pennies. Using what? Pa pennies. Like this here. A little something I invented to make coming in here a little more interesting for tourists. In fact, go ahead and take it. You could use it or keep it as a souvenir. Hey, great. Thanks. Just a mom pa way of saying nice to meet you. Well, it was nice meeting you. I was just going to say the same thing. Y'all take care now. I think I've got everything I need. Can I pay for these supplies now? I suppose so. Have a good day. Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. I was just wondering, where's the ma part of ma and pa's? Ma? Oh, she's around and, you know, running errands and such. She'll be in later. What else you need? Debbie tells me you're pretty involved in the local theater. Now that's a true fact if there ever was one. Nothing quite like being backstage when the lights go down. Come to think of it, it's just like that moment right before the storm hits. When the world goes dark and quiet, and all you can do is cross your fingers and hope for the best. So what's this play about? About this place, of course. From covered wagon times up to today. All about the men and women that made this town what it is today. I'm playing Percy Rutherford Hardcastle, town chef and area's first librarian. Back in those days, it wasn't no small thing to return a book late. That sounds interesting. Gonna be. If you're not out chasing twisters open at night, you should come. We're pretty near sold out, but I'll try to save your ticket. So do you ever chase tornadoes? Silliest thing I've heard tell of. Around here, you're lucky if a tornado don't come chasing after you. People who do that are just asking for it. So you've seen a tornado? Of course I have. Pretty much everybody I know has. <laughs> you research types and all your meters and senses and recorders and such. Chasing around out there thinking you're doing something all big and important. Know what the only real thing you can do when you see a tornado is, Miss Nancy Drew? Watch. You watch this dark, rampaging monster go tearing across the land, wrecking everything it touches, till all of a sudden, it ain't there no more. You can't go after it, you can't make it put everything back, you can't even get even with it, because it's just gone. All you can do is stand there thinking, now that ain't fair. That just ain't fair. Sounds like you're talking from personal experience. That I am. That I am. What else you need? Did you know the divining rod that's supposed to be on display in your museum is missing? Missing? Why, I had no idea. How do you like that? Somebody must have took it. Why would somebody take it? Well, now that's a good question. All thing it's good for is fine and all. That's pretty much just a superstition. For most folks, that is. Some people around these parts still swear up and down divine and rods work. Well, guess I'm just going to have to whittle me up a fake one and stick it in the display. Just be our little secret, okay? Good seeing you again. Y'all hurry back. What's going on there, Nancy? I need a mousetrap that will allow me to catch mice instead of kill them. Do you sell anything like that? Sure don't, but just so happens I got something like that. Right over there in the museum. I'll even let you borrow it. As long as you do a little something for me first. <sighs> Always a catch. You can update the tornado display I got set up over there. Just move the stuff on it around till it compares the old Vegeta way of saying how bad a twister is. You know, F1, F2, F3 and such. Until it correctly compares that scale to the new one. You know, the enhanced Vegeta scale. 
EF1, EF2, and EF3, and the like. The scale they switched over to a couple years back. You might have to do a little reading, but you can do that for me in return for the mousetrap, right? You bet. Howdy, girl. Howdy, Brooke. Stocking up again so soon, or are you just back because you missed me? A little of A, and a little of B. Well, go ahead. What's the word out here this week? Don't keep me in suspense. It's, uh, been, uh, nothing special to report now, I guess. Nothing to report? Nothing at all? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, oh, sure. It's been as slow as weeks, so. all. Not even any good gossip about Scott's team? Any new blunders I can take back to the guys? I know it can't be smooth sailing over there these days. I mean, come on. No, no, no. Uh, very smooth sailing with Scott's team is what I always say, but uh, just remember, I, I got a lot to do in the store. Better get to that. You just grab anything you need now. Take some candy on the way out, too. It's all me. Okay. See you around, I guess. Well, congratulations, Nancy. From what I've seen, you got that Vegeta display set up just perfect. So go ahead and help yourself to that mousetrap. Y'all earned it. That was pretty darn quick. If you had to catch some mice, what would you use for bait? Head over to the snack aisle and buy yourself a moon chunk. Should be just what the mouse doctor ordered. Head over to the snack aisle and pick up a moon chunk. Smells so cheesy you could swear you're in Wisconsin. Want some candy? Uh, you offering me some of my own candy there now? Sure am. That's real nice and all, but between you and me, I can't stand the new stuff on the market these days. Too sweet. Give me clove box snappers any day. Or Dr. Bellaton's reconstituted rhubarb cordials. Now those will can is what saving your pet is for. Where's Ma? Still not here? <laughs> nope. Uh, she, uh, she had to drive over to Chickasha. Sister's lumbago's acting up. Anything else I can help you with? Who is that woman asking all of those questions about Scott? Ah. Now I'm not wanting to talk bad about people around here. But that was Brooke. She ends up the other team of chasers. Maybe you heard of her. Is she always so interested in our team? She was really nosy. Not nosy, just all right, nosy. But she and Scott are just so much alike. Guess it makes sense they'd always be checking up on each other. You'd think y'all were just about the only thing worth babbling on about her the whole state from the way she's asking questions. Scott comes in here asking about her? Oh, without a doubt. I'll let you get back to work. Don't let them canutes work you too hard. Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. What can I do for you, little lady? I need a bigger tube for a vacuum Chase is building for me. Can you help me out? Sure, as long as you do a little something for me. What's that? Head over to the snack aisle. You can update the display I got set up over there. Sure, I've enjoyed talking to you. Stop by anytime. What's going on there, Nancy? I finished up the candy display. Atta girl, here. Nancy! Good, glad I got you. You all right now? Everybody get through that storm? Yeah, we're all fine. Great! I was hoping so, but after something that big, thought I'd better check. While I got you on the phone, something's come up, and I could really use you down at the store. Please, hurry! Okay, I'll be right there. You're here, and you brought the mousetrap. Good. Because I've been seeing a lot of mice lately, especially by that homesteader display in the museum. Must have a nest right beside it. I want you to catch them for me and get them out of here before the health department hears about it. They give me a hard enough time already for selling all them Cocoa Kringle products. Actually, I'm kind of tired of catching mice. Yeah? Well, maybe I'm kind of tired of selling you stuff and being such an all-around nice guy. Know what I'm saying? I can do that for you, sure. That's a spit here. Here's one of them moon chunks to use as bait. Ooh, I'll need that. Thanks. So you just go on over there and have at it. Them mice don't look caught to me. You can't leave, Nancy. There's still mice to be caught. You gotta catch them mice, Nancy. Now get it back over there and hop to it. Thank you kindly. Now get them out of here before any tourists see them. Thanks for catching that mice, Nancy. Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. You'll be happy to know I found your missing divining rod. You'll be happy to know I not only found your missing divining rod, but I put it back in the display. Well, put the cat out of the rain. Where was it? Out in the spring house. Turns out Chase Rutherford was using it to look for oil out at the farmstead. He's not going to find oil out there. Oh, he might find a puddle or two. That's about it. Ross Oil Company pumped these parts dry decades ago. Anyways. If you can put it back in the display, I'd be truly grateful. I'll let you get back to work. I was just going to say the same thing. Y'all take care now. Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. Have you seen Scott recently? Can't say as I have. But truth be told, I'm not paying all that much attention right now. 
Bite out the door to the Grange. Got to get ready for opening night. That's right. It's going to be one Jim Dandy show. Want to hear a little sample? Sorry, no time right now. Of course. <clears throat> well, hello, I didn't see you there. Y'all want to pull up a seat and come on a journey that's about our fair town called... Uh, I'm forgetting. Keep it together now, pause. Start again. Our story starts... Um... Oh, shoot. I plumb forgot my lines. I forgot my lines. Oh, it's last year all over again. I take it back. You're uninvited. You don't want to see this. It ain't going to be pretty. Uh, I better let you get back to getting ready. That might just be for the best. Might be for the best. Have the darnest time keeping them straight. Happens every time I go on stage. I'll let you get back to work. I was just going to say the same thing. Y'all take care now.